of knowing that you're slowly like moving your insides is so erotic. It turns me on. Ew. <laughs> Just thinking about it because I can't picture you doing oh, Kegels. Are you doing them right now? Pineapples. <laughs> Mangoes. <laughs> Peaches, that's a week! <laughs> Maybe the back seat? I don't know. Here. Here. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I know, your mom just texted me too. Right on the couch. I took it out, I had it everything. I had it clean, it was warm. <laughs> Bitch! This is Sissy-in-law. Say hey, Kingpin. Hi, Kingpin. Oh, shit. Oh, God, it's over now. <laughs> okay. So this is the story. Okay. And this might be TMI, but I don't care. Okay. So. Been integrating healthier habits into my life. Okay. okay. And, you know, some of the research says aluminum free deodorant isn't really that big of a deal. The deodorant with aluminum in it hasn't really caused anything. Other research says otherwise. Okay. But going through it, um, aluminum deodorant with aluminum in it it clogs your pores yes right? correct and then um you can't even get a mammogram with it right and then sometimes too like when you're in the shower and, and i'm washing it takes a long time to, to like get, get it off of your your arm right right so i'm like okay let me switch let me go to aluminum free deodorant so i bought dove um it's super nice like it's smooth you can feel the difference mm -hmm. um and i was like dude I smell myself in the middle of the day like what the <laughs> fuck i've been so, girl so it's like this detox period that you have for to sure go to. for sure and i was running from just talking about this i was running no, from Christina. interview to uh class to oh interview. hell so i stink right now like <laughs> so great Daddy, oh dear. <laughs> natural deodorant i've been wearing it for years and there's a detox period and i'm, I'm even Natural deodorant is made for winter because if in the summer it melts because it's natural and when that shit wears off, it wears off. It rubs off new. I don't know about, about the ladies' options, but the men's dub Christina Gray wears my fucking deodorant and sometimes our the men's offers a plant based. Person. But I was just especially today because I just been running around like ragged. Definitely fun. 
options? Like, right? Well, that's what I was saying. So it has What about to be. Amy's? They're open. What about what? She can get healthy shit there. What is it? Amy's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know Amy's? Yeah. They she makes frozen pizza. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, I'm at Del Taco. What else is my choice? What number is that? It's um, a number seven. Okay. And I want it with a Coke Zero. Yeah. And... Do you know what you want? A size mm -hmm. medium, babe, okay? Gracias. I can't believe I'm eating Del Taco, but it's about to happen. Oh my god, I just went back vegan and I am not staying the motherfucking course. I just had to no, go back vegan. Okay, I had to stay back. Ready. Sorry. How are you gonna go back vegan during the holidays and that's when you cheat? What was the point? I should just wait until the fucking first, like I said. Oh no, what the she's fuck still is there. wrong with me? Hello? Say hey, Kingpin. Oh, this is my sister. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is my okay. You said you wanted And she only loves salad? me because I'm the only yes. one. Can, Can I, I have a taco <laughs> salad with Beyond Meat? One taco salad with Beyond Meat, please. And oh, there's Beyond Meat? Like a Sprite. And a meat That's why medium I didn't know why you were getting A fish. large Sprite. And then a but number seven size uh, medium. I'm so sorry. I know where it's just give me one second. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take your time, girl. <laughs> uh, you, can buy, you can get Beyond stuff. It's a Beyond burrito, taco. I literally just had my the, my first meal today because I was at the gym forever. Okay, was okay. meatloaf so made with Beyond, so I don't know if I could take it again. No, don't eat it again. The Beyond taco But I'm salad. so mad yeah, that and then I'm cheating that? again. A large sprite. But I ain't been to Del Taco sprite. in a while, y'all. And, and then a my number seven. A medium. Here. It's a holiday. With That's what that means. Uh, Coke Zero, please. <laughs> Cheat day. Again. And again. And again. And that's it. Yeah. All right. You don't want anything to do? That's why my stomach been no, fucked no, up, y'all. I am on the bloat. Okay? okay? Thank you. Bloat. You don't, you okay. don't want anything? Let me tell you. No, I don't want anything. Pardon. Let me tell you how two tacos and one two. meal. Really? Yeah. You got all them cards? I have all the cards, though. So. I don't think you have them. <laughs> I only got one because I have married. You, you can you can up your credit score with my credit score, but you are Wait, not fucking keeping that card. <laughs> you are not keeping that card. That's so funny. I can tell you that. We all sharing the credit love. <laughs> we gotta share that. We working class people over here. Okay. Here you go. Oh. Um, so big. Because it's a long. Oh, damn. We got a medium, which looks like a normal large. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna eat this in front of dad. Oh, we didn't even check shit. You know, these motherfuckers is challenged. Boom. Boom, boom. Did you get a bag? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. It, it probably came with chips. Oh, or, yeah, yeah. There was chips on the thing. Well, look at that. Yeah. Thank you. She ain't been here two seconds. My sissy got me some fast food. <laughs> mm. oh, oh my god. I have not had these fries. Oh my god. I know you in heaven. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. These were my favorite. I'm in heaven. Mm. And they're always hot and fluffy, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We we're almost at our destination. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, I needed that presentation. Because I don't have any fucking phones with me. Oh wait. <sighs> I know I hate that feeling. Our destination, so I'm gonna check in with y'all later. 
gonna be keeping this bang me. The next day.
Yep, I concur. I concur with you, Kingpin. Okay, okay Kingpin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm damn well, I don't know how to do that. Good morning, Kingpins. Good We're morning. taking Sissy back yes, to the airport. It was a quick trip, very quick trip. So, just a couple days, and um, then she'll be back for Christmas. Hi. So, we are on our way to the airport. First, let me say, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Share. Please share, share because Sharing I am a caring. ghost in these streets. <laughs> Don't nobody know who I am. I got like eight Sharing followers on Instagram. Like, come on. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, how do you do that? It'll probably take like 10 minutes. 10 minutes for what? To get to the airport? From the moment I hit the... You was old. Damn liar! Well, the moment I hit the freeway, <laughs> it was a damn liar. <laughs> Just so y'all know, I told her I had to be at the airport at eleven forty-five. I started cleaning. It's now eleven fifty. <laughs> Just saying. You know me. <laughs> and your plane takes off at what? One what? One like one twenty, one thirty, something like that. Yeah. You know, for the most part, Sacramento Airport is pretty quick. Yeah. You get in and you get out. However, <laughs> there so, are times. <laughs> there are times I have gone there and I'm like, holy shit. Like the lines are like wrapping around and there's like, like no reason for it. And they have like one machine open to yeah, check people and you're just like, okay. So I have almost missed my flight before. We did two ones. Thinking, oh, it's Zach. <laughs> We're good. I'll be okay. I'll be all right. She's headed back to the AZ, y'all. She lives in Arizona. It's cold as shit out here. Yeah, it is. I'm a true Arizona now. It's it's, it's approaching winter, and in Arizona, it's about to be like it's in the 70s. A cool like, 90 like, degrees. <laughs> like a ooh. high of 82, a low of <laughs> 71. Girl. Slight breeze. No, don't get me wrong. It's a desert. So when it gets cold, it gets cold. Yeah. But uh, more often than not, it doesn't stay cold for too long. We'll have like our little period of a couple weeks or so, and then and then it's done. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's the desert. People forget that the shit gets cold. Hello, like really cold. We're about to get the frost. We usually oh. have a couple days of frost here, but it hasn't hit yet, and I think it's coming. It doesn't snow, but it, like, everything freezes. Winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let the oh, white this is my Game of Thrones. I know, and they really just did us dirty on that last They season. surely did. It was almost like they were like, Fuck hurry shit. up and wrap this shit up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Call it a day. I was mad. I was mad they made her crazy. For At sure. the end. That was, a, that that was, was such bullshit. a cop-out. Like, that was some bullshit. Really? After all that? Oh, I'm just gonna be a product of my father. That's that's exactly what she was fighting against. Like I get, that was so wrong. I'm not even gonna lie. I do think Jon Snow would have made a better ruler because he's For smarter sure. and fair. For but sure. really, after all this bitch that went through, after all Daenerys went through, she didn't have two names. <laughs> mother of dragons. Three names. Mother. <laughs> she would name. She would list her names. Uh, she had hella names. That was a cop out for sure. That was, was just and Cersei deserved torture. For sure. She deserved to go down. She just went down in the rubble. Really? That was whack. They were like, alright, how can we end this in 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> go. <laughs> That's so true. And then Ugh. the big dragon will come and see his mama dead. Oh, and I not know. kill John? I know. Because he opposed had the same blood. He did. Get out of here. She looked at him like, I know you just killed my mama. <laughs> and they fly away with her. Really? Uh, uh, anyway. Let's go to Sack Town. To be on the computer editing for hours. My eyes will not stop watering. We, we are straight out the bed, y'all. Straight. straight. Glasses are on because you're not going to see it. He's 
on the way over there. You know, Arizona guys. I'm speeding. Undercover cops. There, yes, the cops are in the minivans and. They be up in, they'll pull up in a Toyota Boca Chico, trucks. like, like and they're a cop. I'm like, I'm not pulling over for you. What is happening right now? That is crazy. The profiling of it all. It's like, I can't, I can't deal with that. Oh, Lord, it. Yeah. I just looked at your window. Your window was hella big. My window? Your front are dirty as fuck. Why so is it so dirty right big? Now. I don't know. Melly's just big. Like, I don't know why. Like, that's how. I don't know if I told you guys that I call. I get my car names. Her name's Melly. She's named after Melly from Scandal. Because that white woman was my bitch. Oh my god. Yeah. I never knew that. And her Vol uh, Tia's Volvo used to be Fitz. So I was like, was. fuck Olivia. Of course it was. With the wife, okay? <laughs> Of, of my training 
And so there's a lot of disparities and struggles that they go through that you get pissed off about because they're children and their caregivers are supposed to protect them and they're not. Yeah. Um, so I really have to like revamp what self-care meant. But I say that in all, I tried a whole bunch of different crap. Um, exercise didn't really work because it just makes my wheels turn. I'm thinking of everything else that I have to do. Um, and so I started playing around with some stuff on Groupon and I started making candles. And I make candles because you can't rush the process, right? Like the wax is going to melt. Too. It's so therapeutic. Yeah. The wax is going to melt when the wax melts. Um, it's going to solidify when it solidifies. Yeah. Uh, you got a little preparation going in there, but then you kind of have to like wait until the next step. Mm -hmm. uh, the oils, uh, you just, especially some of the really good smelling ones, mm -hmm. um, it, it's therapeutic. And so it actually recharges my batteries. So I started making candles. And as you can imagine, I deal with a lot of shit. And all of a sudden I had a shit ton of candles. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do with these? And she makes all different kinds, y'all. Like, And out of things that are just regular household items, like jars. and Yeah, I'm starting to do more like jars. Like I drink kombucha. And so I've cut in the glass and turned that into um, some candles, which those are going to get posted real soon so that you guys can look at those and, and buy some order. of those and order them. Because <laughs> they're um, hella cute and they smell hella good. I'm dabbling in some soaps. Some, like whip soaps um so yeah my, my goal is to create um so i say that in all i named it self-care candles self -care. so um i'm looking at creating like a self-care box that has like a couple big candles maybe the soap you know uh some loofahs things like that that way you guys can um take a time out <laughs> and <laughs> provide yourself some some quality time which we deserve so for sure instagram is Self care candles 2020. I'll put it in the bio, y'all, and I'll put it on the screen. And um, my shop is self care candles, all one word, capital S at the beginning, and that's on Etsy. So, for sure, check it out. Yeah, so freaking we have no children, no kids. Me, I got wife, two. Sissy and mom. I take that back. I got two. I got a 60 year old and a 57 year old. We're literally talking about our parents. <laughs> I got kids. Me included. <laughs> they didn't give me no stretch marks. I mean, <laughs> the um, children are running this shit. Well, we grown now, but. Yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> But it's the in life, you know. You just never know who's gonna fall through the cracks. You never know, and yeah, it's harder. It's it's hard. It's a lot to juggle when you're trying to get ahead as yourself. You know, like it's just a lot of mentally, physically, all that. Bro, I sleep with my mama. <laughs> I sleep. My mama sleep with me. <laughs> I think that, that oh, it's not even like, oh, my parent lives with me. It, this she ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it, right? Oh. What are you talking about? This is a new ramp that they built, but it's not. Oh, I was about to say. Because I don't even reckon. I no. just thought that was. Yeah, because normally the, the airport's the first ramp. But this is that new one that they built to get out to that. Um, oh, the Amazon. Yeah. yeah. that's how much I don't come out here. No. That's how much I don't go nowhere. I was like. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Girl. <laughs> she tried to make me miss my plane. I mean, she's like, you can stay another night. Mm -hmm. We are almost there. Look at Sacktown. Man, that is a big Amazon hub. Mm -hmm. I knocked the sliding door off of the tracks. I don't think I told you that, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's all funny. So, I'd be I like, oops. It was right before Thanksgiving, so it was hella packed. I didn't want to be there, right? Really packed. And I walked in, and the Amazon drop-off thing is, like, right there. So instead of me going all the way around, I'm like, I'm going to just go out the exit door, right? Well, of course, like, somebody was trying to roll in a row of baskets. There were, like, people there. 
and everybody's just like standing there looking at each other. So since I don't have a basket or anything to move around, I'm going to zigzag in between you, right? Yeah. So I got to go zigzag in between them. And right as I was walking out of the door, the door closed on me oh, and it popped me in the shoulder and I, <laughs> the whole thing came <laughs> off. It was like Wonder Woman. The whole thing came off the door <laughs> and I was actually on the phone and I just kept walking and I can hear this dude like, yo, she busted that thing off of the track. That thing hit me. <laughs> that thing hit me. <laughs> I should have stopped and been like, ah, my arm. <laughs> yeah, it fell, fall down, roll over. Like that. But it, it was really, it was really funny. I busted the door. It popped me in the shoulder, and the whole sliding door busted off of the track. Because it's just right there. Okay, bye, y'all. It was nice to meet you. We'll have um, more time around Christmas for sure. She'll be back. It's time for me to say goodbye to my <laughs> my favorite sister-in-law. Bitch, you're only one, bitch. That's why I'm favorite. Okay. She with the shits, okay? Love you guys. Bye. Check in with you later. Drop. Shut them down. Open her up, Sean. This is my favorite sister in law. <laughs> I'll tell you the story about how we got along. Girl, <laughs> we didn't came a long way, okay? <laughs> okay, bye. Oh my god. I never come to the airport because I don't fucking go nowhere. I mean. Look at that plane. I need to go on a vacation so I can get my ass back to this airport so I can be leaving to go fucking somewhere, like. Welcome back, Kingpins. I just dropped my sister-in-law off at the airport, so now I'm headed back home. Um, my wife should be home from work here in about 20, 25 minutes. Oh my god, my left signal went out, y'all. I need my boo. She needs to replace it for me. I get pulled over. I feel like when cops pull you over for a tail light, they ain't got shit better to do. Like for real. You don't think I know my tail light is out? I will be getting it fixed. Relax. I hate that shit. Your tail light's out. Duh. You had to pull me over and waste my time to tell me that shit. I'll be getting it fixed shortly. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I'd be so irritated with the cops. Oh, I ain't been pulled over in a minute, though. Years. I have not been pulled over in years. I don't even remember. I had to have been in my 20s. But I have very little. I have very little tolerance. I have very, like... My patience is very thin for cops for several reasons. So I have to like check myself, my mouth, and my, um, I gotta check my aggression because I see a cop and I just get heated. Like, that's a story for another day. Several. But anyway.
he really, I'm, per, I'm sure there's going to be some kind of, maybe a couple years from now, or who knows, a long time from now, they'll come out with a documentary, and there'll be information we didn't even know, and blah, 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 I'm pretty sure, because I just find that story fascinating, like, he literally, I think, he fell in love with the fame from Empire, and he knew that was ending, and maybe was afraid that his time in the spotlight would be coming to an end, and he was trying to, like, hang on to that for dear life, and just become, like, not a martyr for his community, community, but, like, a, um, you know, a hero of the black community, you know, somebody who overcame adversity, and, who, you know, he wanted to be revered in that way, because he probably had a career plan after Empire, and what's going to do, and it's nothing new, people manipulate the tea. that's what marketing is, you know what I mean, it's manipulation of the masses, and people strategically, um, oops, we're gonna hold on, hold it over, people, people control, me included, you control, everybody does this in their regular lives, they control the perception, other people's perception of themselves, and that's just every human walking this earth, you know, that's just what we do, but, um, in business, when you combine that with business, it's to the 10th degree, you're, because how people think will, of you, will affect your business, your money, it will affect that, so if you're in a particular niche and you want to be revered a certain way, you're going to do everything that you can to cultivate that and protect it, and unfortunately for him, he decided, Ooh, you idiot, you fucking dumb ass bitch. I am talking to myself because when I am talking to y'all, I am screaming at y'all because I am furious right now that I missed my fucking exit. I do that all the time. If I'm in the middle of a conversation on the phone or talking to y'all kingpins and I'm driving, I will literally miss my fucking exit. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my God. Oh, I wanted to get some footage like this. Like, into sack and you guys can see but not really right now because I'm holding it and that's black <laughs> that's stupid so let me stop before I get pulled over for some dumb shit and now I'm in traffic because I didn't get off on my exit like a dummy I can't I cannot I cannot I'm sorry I gotta get off another I'm about to be in downtown like and gonna go gonna go get off right here on garden talking to y'all anyway I just think he that's just crazy and y'all see the footage of him walking into the courtroom clenched onto his friends or family or whoever they were looking like he was on his way to the noose he looked scared and for good reason you should be scared because they had some pretty hard evidence on you and your actions but anyway like I was saying unfortunately for him he decided you know to commit something criminal that's a, that's a criminal offense if you fake something like that um, that wasn't the best. That wasn't the smartest. It was a way. It was very. It was less than smart. It, was, it wasn't the smartest way to go about keeping your fame and keeping your image and growing. You know your brand. It, that 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 wasn't smart. I understand why that came to mind, but you should have planned it a lot better, Jesse. Like you should have planned. I mean, the, the action in and of itself is despicable. Don't get me wrong. Like that's real desperado. Like, but people get desperate we live in desperate times so I'm not gonna act like I don't understand it but it doesn't make it right and the fact that you're making a mockery of black people everywhere to fake that you're a victim of a, of a hate crime mind blown success and fame can come after like if he actually succeeded and got away with it for sure what he wanted to accomplish would have happened he would have actually become that pillar but 
he got caught because he wasn't smart <laughs> about how he did it. And I wish he hadn't have done it at all because now your image is forever. Forever. Your image, your children's image, that Smollett, just that name, you've ruined. You have ruined literally the perception of your family, your family's character, your your anybody who has to deal with you, nobody's gonna take you serious. Nobody was gonna wanna associate with you. Like, why did you do that? Why? Why? Like somebody didn't think, mm, he didn't have a Chucky. Like a, you know, guys, I don't think this is such a good idea. Remember Chucky from Rugrats? He kept Tommy and all the motherfuckers from getting into some shit, some real shit. You need a Chucky on your team. Bring me back down to the ground. Like, nigga, you wanna do what? And if you get caught, which probably would you will like why was it worth it i'm guessing no anyway that was crazy that was crazy they do take forever and a fucking day to get around to a trial because when it came back up i was like i had forgotten all about it like oh my god it's crazy to me excuse me i'm over here looking that blunt <laughs> getting it ready. Oh my God, it's green. Now I'm back on the freeway because I didn't miss my exit talking to y'all. I love you guys. I'll clip this non working ass blinker one more time. Um, on the road again. Rain drop, drop top, drop top, smoking no cook in the hot box, cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, 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 cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grit the trigger, nobody call up the gang and they come and get janked. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Hey. It's bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bah. My niggas are savage, roof. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. My bitch is bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Dope. My niggas are savage, roof. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. All set. Woo, 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 woo. Records on records, got backers on backers, I'm riding around in a cool, cool. I take your beat right from you, you. Bitch, I'm a dog. Woo. Beat down her walls, loose. Hey. Hop in the fall, woo. I tell that bitch to come, come for me. Come for me. I swear these niggas is under me. Hey. The hate and the devil keep jumping me. Jumping me. Back rows on me, keep me covered, nigga. Hey, we did the most, most. Yeah, pull up and goes. Woo. Yeah, my diamonds are choking. Wow. Holdin' up, I with no holster bah. Read the ruler, diamond cooler. cooler This a roller, not a mula hey. Dabbing on them like the usual yeah. Magic with the brick do voodoo Magic. Court side with a bad bitch. bitch Then I send the bitch through Uber Go. I'm young and rich and plus I'm bougie hey. I'm not stupid so I keep the ooze nah. Records on records, got back ass on back ass So my money making my back ah. You niggas got a low act rate act. We from the north, yeah, that way no. That cookie blunt in the ashtray cookie. Two bitches just national no smash that Hop in the limb, have a drag race Smash. I let them birds take a bath, babe hey. Raindrop, Trip. drop top, drop top Smoking no cook in the hot box Cookin'. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that 
cooking up dope in the crock pot. pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grit the trick. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get janked. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Hey. It's bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bah. My niggas is savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Dope. My niggas is savage, ruthless. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. Oh, oh, drop it. Money out of space, kid, cut drink. Introduce me to your bitch's wifey, and we know she slept. Broke a brick down, nutty, buddy, now that nigga duck it. Don't move too fast, I might shoot you. Draco, bad, bougie. I'm always hanging with shooters. Might be posted somewhere secluded. Still be playing with pots and pans. Coming quick, vote right a it. Run with that set, call me booby. When I'm on stage, show me boobies. Ice on my neck on the coolest. How about the suicide with the ooze? I pull up, I pull up, I pull up, I hop out with all of the drugs and the good luck. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm whipping, I'm whipping into it, rock up, let it lock up. I gave her some racks, I told her go shopping and spend it all at the pop up. These bitches, they fucking so thick and they busting for Instagram, get your clout up. Uh, yeah, that way. Float on the track like a Segway. Yeah, that way. I used to trap by the subway. Yeah, that way. Young nigga trap with the AK. Uh, yeah, that way. Yeah. Big Dyko, get the dope Macy. Great. Raindrop, drop, drop top, drop top. Smoking no cooking the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, dot dot dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grit the trick. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get janked. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Hey. It's bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bah. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Bah. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bah. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She back to the ball. Hey, wait. These niggas watching, I swear to God, they be. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Hey, bitch. Hey. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> Looks like Jesus just ran to that. Looks like it ain't been washed. And it's greasy. He doesn't have a mask on. And he goes up to the counter and they're like, the plane's not even here yet. Like, back up. Mm -hmm. And you need to put your mask on. Do you have one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Lays down on the floor. It's on his phone. Puts his mask over his eyes like this. But first he laid <laughs> so he can sleep. <laughs> Wait, first did you see him lay it on his chest he like he was on his, on his phone? Then he went like this. Then he put it over then he his went eyes. Like this. Then he went like this. Then he had it on his head. It was like this. <laughs> Just laid it on the ground. And I was like, this fool After a while, is on something. Christina's like, he's either on, like, he's something, on something, drunk, mental health, something. 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 <laughs> it's something. Sure enough. To proceed to everybody needs professional help. <laughs> as soon as he sat down next to me on the plane, he's I can on the smell plane. him. I'm by the, the window, she's in the middle. I'm like, put your bag in the fucking seat. And then sure enough, he just sat down. And then she leans and she goes, he smells like a bar. I said, he smells like you've been drinking for a week. He was trying to talk to everybody. We go to go take off on the plane. He's like, woo! Like, oh, like, my God. He's the only one down. on his phone. He's she, on the phone. Like, we're getting ready be to take fit. off. Tia would be having and he was a talking on the phone. He's like, oh, Tia. I would have cursed his ass He's like, Tia would, he Tia took, would lose her shit. Tia <laughs> would lose her shit. <laughs> he took off his mask. I was like, I need you to put your mask back on. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay, okay. But then he fell asleep kind of quick. But his legs were in the aisle and his mask was off. So by the time they brought us peanuts and stuff, I was pointing to him. And the lady's like, I got it. So she woke him up. She was like, hello? Hello? Hey? Hey? Yeah, he was drunk. And he kept talking about how he's so excited to see his family. And oh, mom called it. It's the same yeah. scenario that happens in rehab, you know? It's like, you you're going to see your family. You get nervous. You, you, you drink. Like, yeah. And I'm like, dude, like. If I were to see him in rehab, his story would be. 
Christmas was fucked up because he got mm. drunk. Him and his little brother got in a fight. No. <laughs> but even um, we go to go leave and you see him wandering like this and people are directing him. He didn't know he needed to go on the tram to get to baggage. But he took his But he took but his, he mask took off his mask as soon off as on we, the plane. As soon as we landed. Takes out a cigarette. Had a cigarette in his hand. We're down at baggage claim. She's like, why is there a cigarette blood in my bag? <laughs> no, it was him. Throw it away. Sanitize your hand. It was his old one. Oh I thought somebody's cigarette and standing next to me outside no. just now blew in there. And I looked down, I'm like, this is not mine, this is a camel. She goes, it was his, throw it away, here's some hand sanitizer. Ooh. I'm like, this hole was a hot mess. Ooh. And then we get the kids behind us and we're slapping and kicking Christina's seat. <laughs> oh, I lost my shit. And then the oh, plane was delayed, the then the bags did. took 30 minutes to come out. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Merry uh -huh. Christmas. My Merry our Christmas. morning wasn't very good either. Good. We just started talking to each other again, so <laughs> <laughs> that sounds normal. Yeah. yeah, on a holiday for sure. Mm -hmm. Ray, did you see the last video of the girl with her hair looking just like Tia's right now? Oh, that you sent me last night? Yeah. yeah. She was in the mirror with Gene. Yeah. And it was just like Gina. I, I just, From the back, yeah. Uh, from the back. And she was snacking while she was looking at her. <laughs> Hi, honey bun. Hi. You look so sick. What's, what's Ray being mean to you? You can tell me. Yep. I'll, no, she's I'll being mean to me. me. No, I'll cut her. She won't walk that way. You no, know she did. I know she did. It's that like cancer. They be waking up with them crab claws. I'm like, why are you so crabby? Crabby daddy. Oh, cancer. The Dory in the house with her tail between her legs. Oh. What? Your mom, she gets. Because <laughs> when we start going at it, she's like, she has to play the peacemaker. Yeah. It's not my very. She was in there nudging me. No, it's not. She was nudging me to she, go give her a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. She doesn't work that way. If I try to do that, she'll retaliate even more. <laughs> Get <rid of> her. <laughs> What's so funny is between us three in the house, it depends on who's mad at who to determine who's the mediator. <laughs> I am just so fucked up right now. I gotta I burnt my chest and I got a tetanus shot and my whole shoulder is or my whole arm is Actually, swollen. Actually her arm swelled up. And they said that that can be a... The cherry of the blunt fell on it because I was smoking my entail. But no, her, her, she has a huge ass knot under her shoulder right now. Where her tattoo is at. Yeah, what prompted for the tetanus shot? So the doctor said she was It was my have. preventive exam and it's been 10 years. Oh, over 10 years. But she's having a bad reaction. Yeah, they said it's like... swollen after three days, you gotta call the doctors. But now we're here at Christmas, so... It hurts like it says. It says it's the most common side effect, but it's, is it a rusty needle they use? I know. <laughs> no, the they said that your your body over responds. If you have a bad reaction, your body over responds with your own antihistamines. Would be the one, and it it over responds. So it's my antihistamine attacking the vaccine that they just injected me in, and so it's swelling up. I'm just hoping my arm will swell up and pop and fall off or some shit. Like, Sack Town? I know. Uh, I know. I know. Yeah. That, that ain't it huh? is. It's been on the whole time. Yeah, it's time. been recording this whole time. You with the social media bitch now. <laughs> That's my job. Um, ma'am, we're going to need to sign a release of consent to. Um, <laughs> you know, like, you actually yeah. look really good. I was staring at you the whole time. Three? Say hey, Kingpin. Hey, Kingpin. <laughs> the family's here. How you doing? Merry Christmas. Be true to yourself. Don't no, hide you now. Uniquely, uniquely you. They heard you ask if it was on, and then everybody sees you on. <laughs> it's been on this whole time. It's been on this whole time. Nobody is on the other end. They can't hear. Here. This is just a recording, and nobody can hear you or see you. Here's your ear. Here you <laughs> are. <laughs> Ooh, I look a mess. I look a mess. Yes, it looks good. Oh, yeah, it does look good. I got my pumpkins with me. Your pumpkins? Uh huh. Banana one. I don't remember what Tia said. I don't want to be banana one. <laughs> Thank you.
One eternity later. Girls are Buddha. Oh, sorry, Isa. No, it's okay. I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so, That's what she used to do. That's what she used Sign up to be a real housewife of Denver. Mm. So what about their family? Aren't they coming around? The novelty of Simone wore off pretty quick. Now it's more just like, oh, we love her. Come and get our grandbaby. <laughs> well, what about that preschool y'all like? Is it working out? It's fine. Except for the fact that she's the only black girl in her class. <sighs> hey. Happy birthday, Jay. Ooh, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's your fucking birthday. Whoa. It's a fucking okay, celebration. Right what is going on? Tonight we celebrate. Wait, uh, Kelly, I thought you didn't want kids. I didn't. 
But then when I die. You didn't die. Let her have it. <laughs> <laughs> when I die. Hey. I started asking pretty good questions. Like, do I want kids? And then I realized, I don't want just any nigga's kids. I want this nigga's kids. Aw, you guys are really beautiful. This nigga got me out here doing shit I never thought I would do. <laughs> I got my whole life for that. Like, yeah. You're still excited, baby. I can't wait to show you all the baby apps. We can go maternity shopping. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. You getting ready? The hell no. I'm still in the office finishing up. But Florian went home to get ready, so you still have time to spill. No. Let that man surprise you, girl. You know my face can't hide disappointment, but okay, I'll try. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I got this. Listen to Kelly. Now remember, birthday sex only happens once a year. So try that thing I told you about. If you black out, you did it right. If you black out, call for him. <laughs> Actually, stop listening to Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling, girl. Bye. Bye bye. How are you feeling? <sighs> girl, happy. <laughs> like, really, really, really happy. I'm happy for you. Like, for real. You look gorgeous. The baddest bitch there ever was. Was it me? <laughs> that was all you, baby. <laughs> I hate you, Shimmy. Mm, I believe it was. I like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you said. Of course. There's no way you want to get out there just by yourself. No. Nah. Everything just for being you. <laughs> oh, for loving me while I was me. And um, I don't know where life is gonna take us, but I just know that <sighs> as long as you're around, I will be okay. Bye, Kingpin. Oh, no. See you later, Kingpin.
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Kingpins. It's a beautiful Sunday. Let me show you. Look how pretty it is outside. <sighs> Anyway, so yeah, I am, it's Sunday morning, and I'm pretty much going to be editing all day, per usual. Um, but I just made my tea, my morning tea, right there. Yummy, yummy gumdrops. I need that to wake me up. Um because I'm cleaning out my closet right now and it's just a fucking mess, see? I mean, it's not a mess, but some things need to be like, like, look at this. Refold. Just pulling shit. Oh, that's like a mess. Oh, I didn't show you guys the present. I didn't, I mean, I don't really, I don't need to tell you what I got for Christmas. It's not, and you know what? To be honest, most Christmases we don't really partake in in terms of gift exchanges Bay's calling me. What do you want, boo? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Show you. I happen because we told each other this year exactly what we wanted. So, which to me, what are we doing? Anyway, so we told each other exactly what we wanted. We created a list with links. That's how serious we were about not wasting our money. <laughs> so, um, my father-in-law, and there were options. They didn't have to get what was on that list, but there were, they didn't have to, there were options on that list. So nobody knew exactly what they were going to get. You had to have, of course, more than one, two, three options. And my father-in-law took it upon himself to get her her first designer bag. Wow. Like, I was blown away. And it's a $400 bag. She don't do that. I'm not that girl. This is my very first... I'm not going to tell you my age. <laughs> but this is my very, very first designer bag. And I'm going to wear it until it fucking has holes in it. But she will never well who knows what tax bracket i'll be in sometime in life but i will never uh spend the money to buy designer bags that's just not that's not my value and there's nothing wrong with those who value those things but i do not and i will not spend my coin on no chanel purse in my case coach bam Ooh. I cannot wait. I don't know. It's I've literally had it in the closet for like a week. And I need to take it out because come on, man. Ugh. I was so grateful. Like I have never ever in my life. And I will say, yes, the quality is nice. And I've I've bought a ton of purses in my lifetime and what my purses I keep them literally a hundred bucks or less anyway so yeah she's so pretty and I kind of like I when I was younger <laughs> when I was younger I really 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 liked um massive purses that looked incredibly bougie that was my niche um, and then as time went on, I, I mean, I even like a cross body strap. Like I like not a small purse, but a medium. And I just, I like something that I can, I, I don't have to tote. I'm not going to tote a bag. I like something I can put on my shoulder or, um, strap around my chest. And you know, it's relatively, it's not huge. Cause I used to get massive bag y'all I'm not getting so here she is and I'm so elated like oh, I literally had it in oh look 
I had it in the closet for, it's been like two weeks. Oh, I have a bag. It came with a bag. I love. And in particular, when it comes to purses, like everyday purses, designer purses, I love Coach. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I do. I'm just so happy I didn't have to buy it for myself. Um, I need to pack this up because, you know, right now, y'all, I'm, I'm rocking... I'm, okay, so I'm rocking the vegan leather burgundy purse right now that I got last year. And it's just a very functional purse, which is why I bought it, because it just... I, I, I didn't show you guys, so I don't know, I know how to explain it to you, but it's really organized and... Um, I just love that purse, but I'm going to be rocking this. Y'all going to see this purse for like the next two years straight because when I get a purse, I wear the purse. Like I don't change. I'm not that girl with, and there's nothing wrong with that girl, but I'm not that girl like that is a fashionista and has matches her bag to her outfit. No, hence black. Cause no, I'm not doing that. My door, my bag, my bag stays by the door. So grab and go with whatever she has on so it's just i know i have a burgundy one right now and that's just not going with anything <laughs> i just don't care but she goes with everything and i cannot wait to fill her up and it's it's not even that but it's really tiny not really this is like a medium it gets much smaller obviously y'all know but um I am going to fill her up because I'm excited because it's my first, I mean, there's a lot of people that hold value and stock in this stuff and it's never been of importance to me, but just to say I have one, like it makes me feel good, especially since I did not buy it. Thank you, daddy. I am so happy. It's just so, uh, they have, I mean, they, it's very well wrapped. <laughs> they have every nook and cranny. Oh, look. You know, when, you know when it's authentic? You know? Don't let me turn into one of them hoes, please. But it is pretty. And I do like pretty things. I just don't really like to invest my money in fashion. It's not really what's important to me. <laughs> but she's so pretty. <laughs> not be happier y'all look at this hair okay I really want to see what this looks like on my arm I'm not obsessed right now man don't let me get in a certain tax bracket where disposable money can justify these kind of purchases because who knows who I'll become I mean let's be honest <laughs> who knows oh baby's home Daddy's home. I see her coming in, which means we will be ending here shortly. Oh my God! Look, so a nice long strap, very nice. So, yeah, I'll do this later, but you know what it is. <laughs> we have a visitor. Mommy, move, mommy. Ah! Mommy, don't do that, man. What you doing, silly girl? Girl, you better leave that purse alone. She's my pretty, pretty princess. That's mama's baby. That's mama's baby. She loves all this shit, plastic foam. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here, y'all, because I got to go fill her up, okay? And she all up in the way. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'll check in with you later. This is the end of this week's vlog. Say bye, Mommy. Say bye to the kingpins, Mom. <laughs> she stayed looking at herself. Say bye, my little shade pussy. Say bye, mommy.
so that's it that's all I will catch you guys later Nani move it mom I will catch you guys on my next week's vlog <laughs> anyway get your booty get your booty get your booty little fat fat mommy Anyway, all this shit. So, do you be you for you. Live in your truth. Talk your shit. And be a kind human being, especially right now with everything that's going on in the world. Literally, my heart is breaking. It, be a kind human being. I'll catch you guys later. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Peace.